Alright guys, I got a little bit of time to make some videos, so I figured I'd do some uh, videos for like some recent stuff that I got. So, I'm going to start you off with this. So, this if you watch my previous videos, you know that this isn't new. Well, it's relatively new, but generally, well, it's, it's just not new. Just want to show you my Keras Customs Retract. I really like this pen, uses a lot of refills, very comfortable to write with, and uh, just love the company. So, when I got on my uh, email that Keras Customs was having a Black Friday sale, I had to get some more. And uh, since my birthday is, was on the 5th, and it was on Black Friday, I figured I'd get that as my early present. So, I'm going to show you what I got from them. It's just a quick, just a little introduction. So. I made sure to get a bolt and that is what I got now this one it's a bit longer than a normal bolt because this is the G2 version um, I personally prefer the G2 versions of these pens just cause not only can they use the G2 refills but they do come with the spacer so you can use the Parker refill so that's good enough for me and uh, yeah so some first impressions of this one the bolt action is fun to use you can just use your thumb to rotate that and it's just really cool to look at the pocket clip like all the Keras custom pens is very great it uh, works really well like a knife pocket clip very tight uh... the comfort um... yeah the how comfortable it is to use uh... It's uh, it's not bad. I like that it's smooth, but I think that the retract is better. And um, yeah, it's a bit long. It's longer than the retract. It's a long pen. You can see here. I think it's six point one twenty five inches, whereas the retract is five point six twenty five. I don't carry this one particularly in my shirt pocket just cause it uh, the clip can't go through all the way usually it'd stop here just cause of how long it is but what I would do is when I'm wearing a polo I would uh, put this in between the uh, in my buttons or something I, uh, I, I don't know how to explain this but it would be usually around my neckline I'd keep it tucked into my shirt or I'll have this in my back pocket. Um, it would be clipped to my back pocket with my um, with my field notes. Yeah. So yeah, one of the things I noticed uh, right off the bat was that this uh, bolt, this button, it came off very easy, even when you tightened it very, um, you tightened it down a lot. And that's uh, that bugged me a little bit just because I didn't want it to fall out during. I mean, I I carried it for a while, and I didn't really notice. I mean, it didn't really come out. I noticed right before I noticed it get loose, so I just tighten it up again. But what I did to stop that from happening happening for hopefully forever is I put a little bit of blue Loctite onto the threads, and hopefully that doesn't do anything. Um, for my warranty but it's uh... it's very secure now i can feel that it's very secure and no matter how many times i do this and no matter you know if i'm doing it hard or not uh... it seems to be staying in so i'll keep you guys updated on that and another one of the things about this pen is um... compared to my retract pen you can see that there's some texturing here i wish that this pen had texturing at here for when you're retrieving it out of the pocket or the obvious spot is here on the sides of the bolt, the button. It'll focus. Because this is a little bit smooth, so it uh, doesn't lend very well to doing it on the side. Although, like, if you do it quick enough, you can definitely get the movement down. But it would just, you know, it's not a deal breaker, but it would be very helpful if they did put some sort of texturing there, some knurling. So that's what I think. I'm going to, I'll probably have a full review of this but it's pretty f straightforward for what it is and I really like it. So
So the next pen I got on the sale was the Render K. Fill focus for you guys and see. There we go. It's a very simple pen. This one is not, it doesn't have any special mechanism or anything. It just uses a twist cap. Oh, and I forgot to say that all the pens that, um, the both of the pens that I got, the Bolt and this Render K, they both came with a 0.5 G2 refill. So I just wanted to start, um, yeah, because uh, Keras Customs ships with it now, so, yeah. So, originally I got this pen just because it was on sale and I wanted to have the whole collection. I want to see if I really like it, but I always figured I'd be, I'd be selling it for um, the standard MSRP because I got it um, on the Black Friday sale. So I got both of these pens for 20% off. So I figured I might might, as, might end up selling it in case there's something else. But now that I've used it for quite a bit, it's actually become my favorite pen from Keras Customs. And it might sound weird and I've only had it for a bit, but I just really like the way it feels. And there's just something cool to me about just having a normal twist cap. You know, it's just very simple, very compact, very comfortable. So yeah, it's really not a lot to this pen. You can see, it's I just got all of them in aluminum in the standard finish. I just like that. I just like seeing um, all my gear match, you know. Been getting a lot of silver stuff, so. Yeah, I just really like this pen just so simple you can't post it it's uh... i mean you can keep it there but it's not it's not gonna stay on it's just gonna wiggle because you can't screw it on and there's no friction fit so you'd just be using it like this and that's alright with me it's just very comfortable and the nice thing about the render k is that you can put refills that you wouldn't normally be able to put into the pens with the mechanisms as you see here i have a uh, uniball signo red 0.7 millimeter refill uh, it's a gel and it works very well in this pen because if I put it into I tried putting it into the retract and just for some reason it wasn't staying in it's uh, felt like it had something to do with the button and uh, there's also the tool refills if you know tool they're, um, they're the tool pens are being sold and the refills are being sold at Office Max if you go there and I actually really like those refills I'd actually say I prefer them I prefer them to the G2 refills just because they write a little bit wetter, like the 0 0.5, so it makes it more consistent. Because what I've found with the 0 0.5 G2 refills is that they some they either get dry or they're just very picky about the surface, the angle that you write them with them. Whereas the tool is just very straightforward. You can write, you know, you can write a little bit tilted on the side, and it it doesn't really matter that much. So there's a that a little little thing for the tool pens but back to the Keras Custom what's really nice is that it can use those refills because those refills are a little bit taller than the standard G2 refill so the, so the problems that there would be on the bolt where you know you'd have a little bit sticking out when it's uh, retracted or on the retract when uh, you'd get a little bit sticking out when it when that's retracted like when I had the tool pen and it stick out a tiny bit that you can even you can write with it if you had it straight up like that. So that's what I really like about the Render K is that you can use pretty much every refill out there, including Parker because you you are given the spacers. They do have a little bit of wobble, but I'm sure you can fix that somehow. Maybe using tape around the around the pen or around the refill. But yeah, surprisingly, this has become my favorite run one out of the bunch. So, these are all of my Keras Custom Pens. These are the two that I got for my birthday. Um, these two, usually this one would be $65, this would be $55, but I got both of them shipped to me for $99, which was a really great deal. And uh, I'm really happy about my purchase from them. And if you guys are looking for a pen body, just something that's, uh, you know, something that's a little more expensive, something that, you know, gives you the pride of ownership, something that can wear in, and you can pass on to the generations. I'd say you pick up a Crass Customs pen because these are just very nice, very well-made pens. There are some flaws here and there, 
but you can easily get through them. And you can um, I find that it's very easy to appreciate these pens. So these are the Keras Customs pens that I got for my birthday, and I really enjoy them. Um, I may do full reviews or overviews on them in the future, but I'm not sure because they're just very straightforward. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like, uh, if you want to see more content like this, but in picture form, check out my Instagram at hansboyardi. H a n s b o y a r d e e. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching again. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. If you like the video, rate, like, um, like, and uh, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Anyways, thank you guys. You have a good day.